The events in Manchester have sent shockwaves right around the world. And now Australia's Muslim leaders are speaking out against the atrocity. Joining us now, Dr Jamal Rifi, who's a prominent figure in Sydney's Lebanese Muslim community, and Sheikh Imam Tahidi from the Islamic Association of South Australia. First you, Imam. The, uh, the suicide bomber, 22 years old, born in Manchester. How did these young people get radicalised? Good morning. Um, basically, we need to be very realistic when dealing with this matter. You have a 22-year-old who gets radicalized over two or three sermons within a Friday uh, mosque gathering, and uh, the killer of Curtis Chang in Sydney was 15-year-old, and just on the 23rd of this month, two days ago, we had a 22-year-old female uh, who is now being arrested, or was arrested, after having ties with ISIS uh, in Adelaide. Now, this age is uh, an age where someone would expect people to be uh, going out, having fun. But no, we have a large number of youth that are being radicalized. Um, this happens because of the, the books that we have, the Islamic scriptures that we have. They push the uh, Muslim youth to believe yeah. that if you go out there and you kill the infidel, yeah. that's how you will these, uh, gain paradise. But, the, but they're, they're listening to, to preachers, if you like, sermons, two or three sermons, by clerics like yourself, radical clerics. What do, do you more moderate clerics do to out your compatriots who are turning these, these young Muslims? Well, it is very hard being a peaceful, moderate person <clears throat> within a society that is infested by extremist Muslims. I will not deny this fact. Yeah. We have a large number of Muslims that are extremists, even in Australia, and we see them when they come out in the Sydney riots, and we see them attacking the police. So we're being infested by radical clerics here in Australia? Yes, clerics and followers as well. And I've said this to many government authorities, and I'd like to show you something. I bought this two days ago from a shop within Melbourne. This is Al-Qaeda's flag. These are stickers that are being sold for a few dollars. They have them on their windscreens. They have them everywhere. What? Now, I know that these things can be obtained from anywhere, even online or even on the internet. But when you have stores openly selling these items with full audacity and creating this jihadi atmosphere right. for the youth to put on their cars, fully modified cars now, instead of having So stickers. you're saying, uh, do you believe our authorities should have more powers to get rid of these radical clerics and paraphernalia like that? I think We've got to our, get tougher. I think our authorities have misunderstood the situation. They have mm. good relationships with the Muslim community, but having good relationships with the Muslim community does not necessarily mean you have control over them and that you can prevent a lone wolf attack. Yep. Jamal, you've constantly condemned many acts of terror. Do Muslim leaders have to be more vocal? The Prime Minister and the Foreign Minister yesterday were surprised that Muslim leaders were silent. Uh, uh, silent yesterday on this whole issue. Do you, do you have to be more aggressive or do you live in fear? Look, we don't live in fear. We live in a very peaceful country. I don't know where the Imam got his, his information from. First of all, these scriptures existed for hundreds of years. They didn't incite for violence or terror act. It is an ideology of the so-called Islamic State and Daesh, and they are actually targeting the vulnerable yep. young people, impressionable people. Okay. But we are Australian. Our Prime Minister yep. has expressed the feeling of the nation, and that includes Australian Muslims. Yeah, Imam, our Grand Mufti only yesterday, our um, Grand Mufti have condemned this act. We have shouted from the rooftops our condemnation of these acts. Now, Imam, what uh, more can uh, sorry, we do? Only sorry, last Jamal, week, Imam, you're shaking your head. Is I'm there a disconnect between I Muslim leaders? I disagree. And I disagree. We have a situation where there is a month doesn't go by without a terrorist attack happening somewhere around the world. And for the past 1,400 years, we have had a religion of war. That's exactly what we have had. This is, not a, this is not something I'm imagining. These are facts. We've had many wars. How did Islam spread from Saudi Arabia down to Indonesia and Bosnia? All spread by the sword. We had many wars. Yeah. And uh, for someone to come and say these Islamic scriptures have nothing to do with it, I mean, that's uh, against the facts. That's not true. 
the Islamic scriptures is exactly what is pushing these people to behead the infidel. Let me tell you something. The people that are beheading that Mr. Uh, the, the person that killed the young girls in Manchester did so believing he was going to dine with the Prophet Muhammad that very night. That's and that is true. because the Islamic that, scriptures... That's not true. There is nothing, there is that is nothing in Islam Do not lie. that will justify... Do not lie to the Australian nation. We Listen, have in our books in the Islam teachings that will of Ibn Taymiyyah teach people. to behead people and These to kill and massacre people. You cannot sit there and okay. lie to the Australian they, they people. people I, no, 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 wait, wait a second. I came here and I'm believing that you are a moderate person. Any, Do not Imam, lie let's to, give, the, to the Australian give right public. Of reply to Jamal. Do not lie to the Australian public. Uh, Our books uh, teach on, the beheading of people. Jamal, you go ahead. I never lied in my life. I've always said what I believe in, and what I believe in is the truth. Now, these, uh, you, you know, these suicide bombers, that what we saw in Manchester, Manchester, everyone would know in the Muslim community that he is not going into heaven, he's going to hell. He just killed wow. innocent people, let and all children. It is a horrific act. We condemn it. We yeah. are against it. And there is nothing in our religion will support killing of innocent people. Full stop. Okay. All right. Thank you for, for you both. Um, to you both for your time this morning. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. God bless you. Sam, just... Wow. Is Coffee. this one of, one of the issues that there are, there, there are such extreme views within the Muslim community itself? It's and one of the issues, but can I just say that a mom was yeah. on Seven News a, a couple of weeks ago and one of our reporters took him to Western Sydney yeah. and he was spat on and sworn at by a lot of the locals there for speaking what a lot of us will say is quite sensible yep. stuff. So Absolutely. a, 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 a really very big split there within their community. And that, is that the problem? Yeah, that's and he's, he's actually being incredibly brave to come out and say that. Yep. So that's really powerful stuff.